Good morning, boys and girls. I wish I could be with you this morning and uh, share our time together, but unfortunately, as you know, um, we can't do that. So um, you may know that the big church is actually having a service online, and so your parents may be doing that. And um, But you know, you guys can have church at home because you know, where two or three are gathered, God is there. And if God is there, you are having church. So look at it as an opportunity to get have good family time, I hope you're enjoying some of that and um, just getting time to hang out with your family. So today, I wanna to share with you a message. And the message I have for you is, God is bigger than anything we face. And when I think of this verse is, I'm just comforted to know that God is in charge and knows the beginning from the end and that he is knows everything that's gonna to happen to us and he is in control and has the best um, for us and loves us and he loves you too. So um, when I saw this, um, I was thinking of a book that I loved reading to children and it's called Tudley Didn't Know. And um, I wanna read that to you and then I also wanna read uh, Matthew is it 14, 22 to 33. And um, we're gonna compare that to a book I read to you and the book, let me get this online for you. Tudley didn't know. Tudley was a young turtle who lived in a great big pond. He and the other turtles liked to spend the warm summer afternoon lying in the sun. It was nice being a turtle in the sun. One afternoon, Tudley stretched out on a rock and watched the hummingbird build its nest. The bird dropped a piece of lichen and it landed next to Tudley. I'll get that, said Tudley. He picked up the lichen and flew up to the next. Here you go, he said to the hummingbird. What did you just do, asked the bird. I brought you your lichen, said the turtle. But turtles can't fly, said the bird. They can't, said Dudley. I didn't know that. He looked down at the shocked faces of turtles below. Hey, did you know that turtles can't fly, he called down. They all just nodded. <clears throat> that night, as Dudley was resting from a long day of flying from here to there and there to here, he watched the fireflies glowing in the dark. Then he heard a tiny blip, blip. A firefly had fallen into the water beside them. Tudley fished them out. Thank you, said the firefly, but now I'm too wet to fly and everyone is going home soon. I will call for help, said Tudley. He lifted his tail in the air and made it glow bright green. Blink, blink, blink went his tail as he signaled to the other fireflies. One of them landed next to Tudley. How did you do that? he asked. Do what? asked Tudley. Make your tail glow, said the firefly. Turtles can't make their tails glow. They can't, said Tudley. I didn't know that. He looked at the other turtles who had gathered around. Their mouths hung wide open. Did you know our tails don't glow? he asked. They all just nodded their heads. The next morning, a tadpole swam up to Tudley. Look, said the tadpole, I'm growing feet. But then the tadpole looked sad. I wish I could show my mom, he said. Where is she, asked Tudley. Oh, out hopping in the meadow, said the tadpole. I will find her, said Tudley. He went to the meadow and found the tadpole's mother. Tudley hopped up alongside her. Come back to your pond and see your tadpole, he said. He's got legs. Oh my, said the frog. As the two of them hopped back toward the pond, the frog looked over at Tudley and said, you are a special deer, aren't you? Why, asked Tudley. Turtles can't hop, she said. They can't, said Tudley. I, I didn't know that. Did you know that turtles can't hop, shouted Tudley, as he hopped up to the other turtles. The tur other turtles blinked and slowly sunk under the water. That evening, Tudley heard some katydids singing in the trees. Each called from the highest branch it could find. Tudley liked their music and decided to join them. He flew up to the tallest tree of the edge of the meadow. How do you make that beautiful sound? He called to one of the katydids. We, we rub our wings together, he answered. I do not have wings, he thought, but I can rub my arms together. Soon he was singing like the katydids. Hey, turtles can't sing, the katydids shouted. They can't? I didn't know that, said Tudley. Hey, do you know that turtles can't sing? He called down to the other turtles. Oh, I forgot, he thought. The turtles aren't even here. They're back in the pond. Suddenly, Tudley lost his balance. 
He fell from the tree and landed upside down on a rock. Help, called Tudley. Tudley tried to fly off the rock, but he could not fly upside down. He tried to hop off the rock, but his legs just waved in the air, and Tudley was frightened. He saw the fireflies glowing in the air. It gave him an idea. He blinked his tail to call for help. Then Tudley felt something land on his chest. It was the firefly he had saved a while back. I, can get, I can't get down. If I tip over, I'll fall and hurt myself, said Tudley. I saw you needed help and brought some friends, he said. Just then, the mother frog and the hummingbird appeared. But the frog, the firefly, and the bird were afraid to move him. I will get the older turtles, said the firefly. They will know what to do. Tudley spent the night on the rock waiting for the slow moving turtles. He was still scared, but the frog, the katydids, and the bird kept him company. Morning came and Tudley still didn't know what to do. Hey Tudley, what are you doing up there? called a voice from below. The turtles had arrived. I'm stuck, yelled Tudley. Please help me. We can't get up there, cried the turtles. What should I do? screamed Tudley. Tuck in your shell, said the turtles. How do I do that, asked Tudley. Just pull in your head and feet, yelled the turtles. Tudley pulled in his head and his feet inside his shell. Now what, he called from inside his shell. Rock back and forth, yelled the turtles. I will fall and get hurt, cried Tudley. Your shell will protect you, said the turtles. Tudley rocked back and forth and back and forth, and he slipped off the top of the rock and rolled all the way down. The turtles all gathered around young Tudley. Are, are you okay, they asked. Tudley poked his head and then his feet back out of his shell. I didn't know I could do that, he laughed. As Tudley flew away, some of the other turtles began to wonder. Hmm, could they fly also? So as we read that story, um, I think of the story of Matthew, and um, we're going to read the portion of Math the book uh, Matthew, Matthew 14, 22 to 33. And if you have a moment to go grab your Bibles, um, you can read along with me. Um, so you can stop this video right now. I'm going to put my glasses on so I can read it. And um, you can read alongside me. But what happens in this passage of uh, Matthew is Jesus had just finished feeding 5,000 people, a huge crowd of people, and he only had, what did he have? Five loaves of bread and two fish. I know, I bet you answered that already. Um, but he had, only had that, and so he actually was able to multiply it and feed so many people. And so the disciples were with him, with him helping feed them, and they were pretty tired. And in this passage, it's called Jesus Walks on Water. And it goes like this. Immediately, Jesus made his disciples get into the boat and go on ahead of him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. After he had dismissed them, <clears throat> he went up to the mountainside by himself to pray. And think about that. He, Jesus, was praying for others right then. And imagine if Jesus is praying, how much more is it to help ourselves if we pray to God? Later that night, he was there alone, and a boat was already a, a considerable distance from land, buffeted by the waves because the wind was against it. So imagine the boat was just getting crashed by these waves, and wind was blowing it all over the place. Shortly before dawn, Jesus went out to them walking on the lake. So he was actually walking on water at this time. And when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and cried out in fear. But Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I. Don't be afraid. So he's encouraging them right there and saying, Don't be afraid. You can do this. You, you can. It's me. It's no one else. I'm not a ghost. Lord, if it's you, Peter replied, tell me to come come to you on the water. So he's almost, Peter's like testing him and saying, if you can do it, let me do it too. And what's Jesus say? He says, come, he said. Then Peter got down out of the boat, walked on the water. So here he is walking on the water and came towards Jesus. So he's doing the same thing. But when he took his eye, when he saw the wind, so he was taking his eyes off Jesus, he saw the wind, he was afraid and beginning to sink and cried out, Lord, save me. So he, he yells out what is like a prayer, right? When you're yelling out to God, Lord, save me. Um, 
you know, he was calling out to God to help him out, but he had taken his eyes off God for that moment. And that's why he got, I believe that's why he got afraid. Immediately, Jesus reached out his hand and caught him. You of little faith, he said, why do you doubt? And when they climbed into the boat, the wind died down. So Jesus actually had calmed the wind. Then those who were in the boat worshiped him saying, truly, you are the son of God when they witnessed that. And well, if we compare that to the story of Tudley when he um, listened to his friends to, uh, to fall off the rock. Because they asked, remember they asked him to roll over the rock and fall down. Um, if we compare that to the passage where Jesus asked um, Peter to step out of the boat. Um, you can see how it's a matter of taking that step and asking God to help us in those situations. We can have God with us when we pray to him. And um, I hope you're doing that too today and hope that you will take some time to pray with your family or pray on your own um, because that's the best way to communicate. And that's the best thing you can do in this time. And um, let me pray for you right now too. Um, and I have something else to tell you about um, too that I'm excited about. Um, but right now, let's, let's take a time to pray. So let's do our usual prayer, and that's where we do this. We put our hands together and we go, open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, put them in your lap. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for uh, that we can pray to you and be comforted by you and your Holy Spirit. And we call on you just to help us not be afraid and be comforted um, in difficult times like this. And we pray for um, just our families too, just they would draw near to us and um, pray for all the medical workers out there that can take care of this and in a timely fashion. And um, we thank you that you are a God that is in control of all of this. And we pray this in Jesus' name, amen. Well, boys and girls, I just want you to know that I am thinking of you and praying for you and your families. And Baymarin loves you as our family. And um, God loves you. That's the most important thing. So I have something for you, um, something to enjoy, because this is called God's Makers. And I have something that you get to make. Um, if you can pick that up, um, or you can come, I can deliver it to your house if you ask your parents. Um, I can deliver it and drop it at your doorstep, or this is what you're gonna get. Um, I can drop it off, or you can pick it up at my house. Um, this is called, what is it called? A spin bot, and it's a drawing robot, and it's got some great instructions on how to make it, and it's just a fun way to have some good times at home, and um, you can actually see what it looks like once it's all put together. I'll turn it on for you right here. Okay, so here is the spin art robot here. And once you've put it together, this is what it can do. And if it's uncap the markers, it would draw a really cool design. Or maybe you want to come up with your own ideas with it and make it a walking robot. So you will get a chance to make this. And as I said before, talk to your parents about having them either stop by, I can, they can pick it up at the doorstep, or I can drop it off at your house. So again, um, boys and girls, thanks for watching, and I look forward to seeing you soon. God bless you.